apple brown butter blondies. Oh, Ooh. baby. Yes. That's yes. everything I love. Apple blondies. blonde butter. Blondies are serious business in my house. My mom loves blondies, my grandma loves them. I can't visit my grandma without making blondies. That's well, so apple brown butter blondies. We have brown butter already going on the stove. Mm -hmm. We have a nice tart baking apple, a Granny Smith apple. Do you want to peel and I'm dice that for you me? you want me to peel it? I yes. see this peeler out here. All yes. right. Peel and dice that. So we're starting with brown butter. You guys love brown butter, right? I love it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We, we take butter for, for granted when we're baking, but we don't often think how we can hike up the flavor. And when you brown it, that's what you do. You get all that nice caramely nuttiness from the, the milk solids that brown. It just, it's kind of a great shortcut for flavor, right? So when how you, long did that take to brown? When you start with brown butter. You know, you put the stick of butter on the stove, medium high heat, uh, a couple minutes. Once no, it stops it though, right? sizzling, yeah, yeah, once it stops sizzling and the water has evaporated, that's when all the milk solids start to brown. So we've got a lot of warm spices in here. We have cinnamon, and I like to add the spices directly to the hot butter, because it kind of blooms them, right? It kind of yeah. wakes them up a little bit. Damn. Cinnamon, clove. I love clove in this, but I made these recently for my best friend, Anthony. We made them with ginger and he loved them. Mm -hmm. So that's the great thing about blondies is that you can kind of customize them, mm -hmm. right? You can use whatever fruit, whatever nuts, whatever chocolate you want to add. And then some salt, of course, to balance out all those flavors. A Little bit of baking powder and then some brown sugar. I like light brown sugar for this, but you could use dark brown. You know, it, it works. And then we'll just whisk this all up. And I think, you know, blondies are great because they kind of remind me of chocolate chip cookies. They have that, you know, butter, brown sugar, kind of caramely. Chewy. Flavors to them, they're chewy. Yeah. So Katie's slicing up the apples here. And what we're gonna do after they're all diced up is actually put them between two plates and microwave them for about two minutes. What? Get yeah. the moisture out. Warm them up. Right? It takes some of the moisture out so they stay perfectly textured in the blondie. It also kind of shrinks the apples just a little bit so you they don't shrink. Can you put a towel on the plate or just? You actually, you can put them on a paper towel as they cool and it'll absorb the moisture. Okay, okay. It's like, did you ever cook an apple pie? Yes. And then the apples shrink sometimes when yeah. you bake the pie and well, you have kind of like sinks. a space. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. We so got some in here already That done. keeps that from happening. That keeps that from happening. Microwave so, is our friend in the kitchen. I'm gonna add a whole egg, room temp, of course, and then an egg yolk. That'll keep these nice and dense and fudgy, right? Some vanilla extract. You want All me right, to Katie. help you stir stuff in? Yeah, we're gonna add some all-purpose flour. Mm-hmm. Let's add almost all the apples. We'll keep just a few, and then that way we can put a few on top. So it's like a little flavor clue of what you're, oh, what you're gonna get, I right? Like when that. you put it into it. I call that the good? visual move boosh. <laughs> it's, it's nice to see what you're gonna you know, eat, right? And then let's go with these toasted pecans here. Oh. I love toasted pecans and blondies because they got that nice bite. They're buttery, you know, they're, they're, they're great with the brown sugar and the, and the brown butter, but you really can use whatever nuts you want here. Look at us Mix without the stand up. mixer, though, Dan. I know. You don't need a stand mixer, mixer to bake. No. You know what I'm saying? Just a little elbow grease. Home so you cooks, got this lined with parchment paper yeah. and a little oil sprayed on there? Yeah, line it with parchment, give it a little spray. And these little wings here helps you lift it out when it's done baking, right? All those little tips. All little Great tips. tips. See, so now we're just going to pop this right into the pan. So that's a tight batter. Yeah, it's, it's thick, right? A lot of butter, a lot of brown sugar. Oh. Look at that. Oh, yeah. It looks yeah. good, Dan. It spreads in the oven, too, so you don't have to worry about getting it perfect. Toasty pecans on top. And these will sink in just a little bit. They'll all bake up nice and nice and even. We'll push that in there. All right, it's going in the oven. How long and oven. what temperature? 350, about 33 to 35 minutes. You want them to be nice and golden brown, and you can do the toothpick test. Yes, you See when they're should. done. What overcooked blondies. Yeah, you want to keep them a little, little on the undercooked end, because yeah. we'll continue to cook Ooh, with that carryover heat. Yeah. Wow. Look how gorgeous, right? Wow. Gorgeous. You can see all the little flavor cues on top? Yeah. And then you just pop it right out. Ooh. Nah, you nice. can't beat how easy that is. So easy. And then you just peel off the parchment. Katie, I'll give this to you. You can have one blondie. Mm -hmm or you can cut it up into pieces and you can share, right? And I like to use a serrated knife with a blondie like this because it cuts through the nuts and everything. Gives you nice clean cuts without kind of smushing everything down. Mm -hmm. I'm going right for this oh, one. For okay, it. Katie, thank okay, you for fine. leaving that corner. You I appreciate you. I'm not forgetting about you guys, though, mm. don't worry. I was just looking at the corner. Guys, the texture of this is so good. It's so moist and rich. And you get that nuttiness from the brown butter and then the pecans and the fresh apples in there. They're so good. So good.